Uh, it's evening time and the temperature has cooled down some. Um, I'm going to transplant this uh, Cleome here. Take the stick out. This is um, one that I did in March for winter sowing. And it's a tall, spiky-like flower. It gets between four and six feet tall. And it's got pretty purple and pink and white spikes on it, like flowers. Um, I can't know exactly, it was a variety pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant these up in the nice, cool evening temperatures. All right. All right, this is the spot where I'm going to plant them, um, right in between the blackberries. Um, like it says it could require some trellising or some support. So I don't have any color back here, so I'm gonna do it right here. I'm like, oh, I do have this peony, but once she's done blooming, that's really it for this area. So, all right, I'm gonna plant this up. It's grown up really nicely. You can see all the roots in the bottom. So I'm going to intact. Now I'm just going to lay it down and gently break it apart. I'm like, can I spread compost? There's a lot of compost back here in this area and it recommends um, to fertilize it or a compost rich soil. Putting these smaller ones aside. found a piece of ginger here, but it's dead. All right. All right, let's get these guys planted up. these small ones left that I'm going to plant somewhere else. I'm like, I ended up planting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Can you see? Bye. 
are, this is where I planted the rest of the Cleone back here along this fence. I'm like, it says they can get up to four to six feet tall. So, you know, there's not really any color along this back area right here. And it's in between um, two blackberries. So, and there's, um, I have some makeshift wire that I've put to try to train these blackberries to grow on. I'm like, I'm gonna do something better, but this is what I just made um, as a quick fix. So yeah. Again, get these all nice and watered in. And I'm gonna come out and check on them in the morning and we'll see, you know, how they did overnight. I'm like right there where I'm watering. There's a pumpkin right there. So yeah, I'm just gonna let it go and do what it does and see if I can get a pumpkin. I planted the Cleome. And now I'm just watering it in. I have a hardy hibiscus right there. And I've sown some uh, cosmos and calendula here in this area. This right here is a lilac bush and a daylily. So I'm just gonna do some watering while I'm out here. Get these things a drink. So hopefully these will um, be able to, you know, strengthen up overnight and they have a good, you know, eight to 10 hours to adjust before the sun comes up. And that's really what I want, them not to have to struggle. Because when I plant things early in the morning, the sun, you know, gets them for the better part of the rest of the day. And, you know, then my seedlings are looking crazy. So yeah, this is a new technique that I'm gonna give a try this season to try to plant things in the evening time. So they have the whole overnight to recover. 